were two things that I love the most about my experience watching Miss USA in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and one was the time that we spent with the teens. Lauren and Blair were our event coordinators for the time we were there, and they did a phenomenal job making sure that there were tons of activities and fun things for us to do around Baton Rouge. So a big thank you goes out to them. They were awesome. Number two, I loved, loved, loved watching Miss USA Live. I've watched it so many times on TV, but until you are actually there, I mean, you don't understand the energy and how gorgeous the stage is. And so it was just amazing to experience all of that. I also really loved dancing in the aisles. The Miss Universe organization let us like dance and break it down during the big Mardi Gras opening number. And Arizona team and I got on TV a couple times. So that was so much fun, super cool. I also absolutely loved watching Christina progress. I am so proud of her. I knew she was gonna do awesome and she did, but when they called her for the top 20 as the very last spot, I almost died. You can ask the people around me. I was, I was dying in my chair, but I'm so proud of her. Like I said, she did amazing. And I mean, just the whole experience of watching Miss USA is one I'll never forget. It was really neat to meet Mr. Trump. I mean, of course, he's a big person in the business world, but he could also be my boss in a couple of months. So it was a lot to take in, but he was super nice. I mean, he was very conversational with all the teens, he took tons of pictures with us, and he didn't tell me that I'm fired. So I think we're on good, good ground with him. And I told him that he should come to the Bahamas for Miss Team USA, and he said he might. So we could see him again soon. Well, watching Miss USA definitely inspired me to step up my preparation for Teen USA even more. I was very inspired by the girls and their confidence that they just projected on stage. And so that's something that I want to emulate. I've been practicing my walk. I've been watching Miss USA a couple times to see how the girls walked and the kinds of turns they did. So that helped me. But I was also very inspired by um, meeting Miss Teen USA at Miss USA as well. She gives some great advice about preparing, about staying natural and staying true to who you are. So that also has affected how I prepare. And I think it's coming along really well. We'll see in just a couple weeks. My advice to anyone that signed up for a state pageant is to find your vision. I mean, yes, it is one weekend that we're going to compete, but if you win, you have a whole year ahead of you of things that you're going to want to accomplish. You should have goals in mind. And I think if you find your vision, for me at least, it really helped me learn the kind of Miss South Carolina Teen USA that I wanted to be. And that affected my whole outlook of the entire weekend. I saw it more as a job interview than just competing in a pageant. And it just kind of helps you keep everything in perspective and keep what's important in the front of your mind. So find your vision, find the kind of story that you want to leave, and just go out there and show that to all the judges and to everyone at the pageant. I want to thank all of my supporters, my sponsors, family, and friends. Thank you so much for keeping me focused and positive and encouraging me these past couple weeks and months as I prepare for Miss Teen USA. It's one of the biggest moments of my life. And thank you so much for helping me and helping me achieve this goal. I really appreciate it. And to everyone out there, I hope you will tune in August 2nd, 8 p.m. to MissTeenUSA.com to watch the final competition of Miss Teen USA. I leave July 29th, so be sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram at RealMissSCTeen and like my Facebook page, Miss South Carolina Teen USA, for all of the best behind the scene updates as I compete at Miss Teen USA. Thanks and have a great July.